In this video, I am going to solve the problem second from chapter 26, current and resistance. A wire 8 meter long and 6 millimeter in diameter has the resistance of 30 milli ohm. A potential difference of 23 volt is applied between the ends. First question, what is the current in the wire? And the second question is, what is the magnitude of the current density? And the third question is, calculate the resistivity of the wire material. And the fourth question is, using the table, identify the material. That means, in the third part, we are going to calculate the resistivity. So, we have to compare the value of the resistivity in the table. So, we have to compare the value of the resistivity by using the table. By that, we are going to find what should be the material used in the wire. So, now what I am going to do, I am going to write the given first. So, in this question, the length of the wire is given. L is equal to 8 meter. And also, the diameter is given here as 6 millimeter if you converted this millimeter to meter 6 multiply 10 power minus 3 meter and the resistance is given here as 30 milli ohm which is 30 multiply 10 power minus 3 ohm and the potential is 23 volt now what i'm going to do we need the area for the part b as well as the part c so by using the diameter I'm going to calculate the area now. As we know, the area of the circle, because if you see the cross-section uh, view of the wire, it looks like area of the circle. So area, which is equal to pi r square, where r is the radius, r is equal to the diameter divided by 2. So I'm going to use the diameter for the calculation here. So therefore, this formula will become pi d square over 4. So now I'm going to substitute the value of the diameter here for getting the answer for the area therefore pi multiplied by here the d is 6 multiply 10 power minus 3 the whole square over 4 here i got the answer for the area as 2.83 multiply 10 power minus 5 meter square so this is the uh, value for the area that is cross sectional area of the wire so now i am going to answer for the question one by one so let's we start with the first question what is the first question we are going to find what is the current in the wire question number a for finding the current i'm going to use the ohm's law we know v which is equal to current multiplied by the resistance so i have to rearrange this equation in terms of current Therefore, current I is equal to V over R. So, in this question, the voltage as well as the resistance is given. V takes the value of 23 voltage over the resistance is 30 milli ohm. So, 30 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3. Here, I got the current value as 766.6 ampere. So, I am going to round up this value as 767 ampere. So this is the answer for the first question. And in the second question, we are going to find what is the current density. That means magnitude of the current density. That means the current density is J, right? So we are going to find the value of the current density. So for part B, we know the rule. The current density J is equal to current over area. So here, I'm going to use the current value from the first part. In the first part, we got the value of the current as 767 over and in the area just before we calculated, right? So what is the value of the area here? 2.83 multiplied 10 power minus 5. I'm going to use that answer here. 2.83 multiply 10 power minus 5. Here the, I got the answer for the current density as 2.71 multiply 10 power plus 7 and the unit for the current density is ampere per meter square so this is the answer for the second question and in the third part we are going to calculate what is the resistivity of the wire material so that means we are going to calculate the value of the row so for that what i am going to do i am going to use the formula for the resistance 
as we already studied the formula in the theory the resistance is equal to rho l over a so here rho is the resistivity l is the length of the wire and a is the cross section of the area of the wire so we have all the values so first of all what i am going to do i am going to rearrange this equation in terms of the resistivity rho that means we are going to find the answer for this rho so if you rearrange this equation rho is equal to r multiplied by area over length now i am going to substitute the value r is 30 milli ampere milli ohm which is already given in the question so 30 multiply 10 power minus 3 and area we already calculated which is 2.83 2.83 multiply 10 power minus 5 over the length of the wire is already given in the question so what is the length of the wire here which is 8 meter right so i am going to use that value here so the length here is 8 so here i got the resistivity of this the material as 1.06 multiply 10 power minus 7 and the unit for the resistivity is ohm meter so this is the answer for the third question and in the fourth question we are going to find what is the material by using this resistivity value so here we got the value of the resistivity here as 1.06 multiply 10 power minus 7 so now what i am going to do i am going to compare this value with the value given in the table so you have to see what is the value we got here so here we got 1.06 multiply 10 power minus 7 if you see here this value you can see 10.6 multiplied by 10 power minus 8 so we can write this value as 1.06 multiplied by 10 power minus 7 so that means here they give the answer in terms of 10 to the power of minus 8 but we got the answer in terms of 10 to the power of minus 7 but i just shifted one digit so by that this answer here is 1.06 this answer we got in part c so that means the material used in the wire is platinum that means the answer for the last question is the material used in the wire is platinum so what is the material the material is platinum material because we got the value of the resistivity as 1.06 multiply 10 power minus 7 or if you want to write the value in terms of 10 to the power of minus 8 you can write 10.6 multiply 10 power minus 8 so this is also right because in the table they gave the answer of the resistivity as in terms of 10 to the power of minus 8 so both answers are exactly the same so the material we identified is platinum material so this is the answer for this question that's it thank you